Hi everyone, this is Dikshit. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to discuss about shell scripting scenarios. This is the second video in this series. So if you have not watched the first video, I'll just leave the link in description. Please have a look into that. Coming to today's scenario. So let's say I have an application log file. So from that, I want to identify from which IPs my application has been accessed and for how many times. To achieve this, Use case there are many ways, but I think the simplest way to get the IP addresses and for how many times it has been accessed. Okay, and here I'm using uh, the combination of grep, sort, and unique commands. And let's get into the practical and let's see how uh, we're gonna do this scenario. So uh, I'm into my Google Cloud uh, machine, so already I have a log file. So I'll just show you the content of log file once. So if you see my log file, there are many IP addresses in it. Uh, you can have a look like this, like this IP address and there is IP address here. There are many IP addresses because this is one of the um, um, log file which has uh, more than, I guess like, 200 to 300 lines there are many ip addresses in it and uh, to keep in mind so we have this log file the first and foremost thing that we want to do is like we need to extract all the ip addresses from this particular log file to achieve this i'm using a grep command so grep is basically a command which used to search a particular pattern in the given file okay so let me type uh, the grep command first and then i'll explain what are all the options I have used and what are all the regular expressions I have used. Okay, so I'll just type it. Grep is a command. So here, here I'm using iPhone E and iPhone O and then I'm using a regular expression. So 0 to 9 and then I'm using flower braces one of three i'll just explain all these things in detail i'm just typing out the command Okay, and then I just need to pass the log file. So let me verify it uh, whether it's correct or not again. Yes. So now if I execute that uh, particular command, I'll be getting all the IP addresses which are there in that log, particular log file. So let me explain uh, this particular command, uh, what regular expression I've used and what are all the options I've used. So in this, uh, to achieve this, I've used two options basically. One is iPhone E and iPhone O. So iPhone E stands for extended regular expression. That means like uh, on the screen, as you can see, uh, there are many meta characters like question mark, plus symbol, and the square bracket, and this odd symbol, and then the normal bracket, which has some special meaning. Okay, so if you don't use iPhone E, that special meaning will be ignored use that special meaning so we are using iphone e and again i'm telling iphone me iphone e in the sense the so extended regular expression so the next option is iphone o iphone o is basically matching only the option stands for matching only that means so if you don't give iphone o what happens is so let's take off that iphone o and let's check the output how it will be okay so what it does it gives the entire line which has this particular which which particular uh, uh, line in this case we don't need that right so we just need the ip addresses so basically grep will match a particular pattern and it gives the entire line i don't need entire line in this example so 
So that's the reason I want to use iPhone O as option because I want to get only the IP addresses. Okay, and this is about the options. And the next thing is regular expression. So I'll just take a notepad plus plus with that. I'm gonna explain it. So as you can see, uh, so in IPv4 address, basically here uh, we are just talking about IPv4. So this uh, command won't um, work with IPv6 addresses. As you can see in this address, there are three dots, right? So three dots and uh, four, uh, you can say numbers, right? So between uh, these uh, dots, we have numbers. So as you can see in the square braces, like here, zero to nine. So whatever you give, give in uh, square brackets, basically I have a slide for that also. Let me show that, yeah. So basically whatever there in this uh, bracket, square brackets, it matches for that means like it, it can be a number between IP address digits will be zero to nine, right? Any number between zero to nine. So that's what in this command I'm giving. So any number between zero to nine, if you give anything inside uh, a square bracket, it will match, it it will try to match for that, like zero to nine, any number. Okay. And after that, there is something called a square, a square braces and then I've given one comma three. That means, so IP address can have one digit or it can have two digits or it can have three digits, right? So, I mean, before, uh, I mean, like that dot, right? So what the flower bracket says is like, it can be uh, any occurrence between one and three. So one occurrence in the sense, this is the example, two occurrence in the sense, like this is the one. And if it is three occurrence, this is the case. So it can be anything between one and three. Okay. So and after that, like dot should be there, right? So you might be thinking why I've given a slash here. Because uh so in shell script, basically in grip, so dot has a special meaning. Okay. Uh, dot has a special meaning. That means like uh, if you use a dot, so it will match with a single character of any value. So I want to take off that special meaning for that, right? So because, because of that only, I'm just using a slash and I'm removing the special meaning for that, okay? And this I wanted for three times because if you see any IP address, the dot will be there only for three, right? So I want these kind of regular expression for three times. So that's the reason I'm just enclosing it and normal brackets you can compare it with uh, for loop basically this normal braces so then i've given the number three right so this particular pattern will will be searched for three times basically so let me yeah this particular pattern will be so i'll just clear the screen and then This particular pattern will be uh, seen for three occurrences. Basically, uh, so one, two, three occurrences, right? So I don't need to have a dot after the fourth number, right? So that's the reason I wanted to repeat this regular expression for three times. And after that, again, I'm using any number between zero to nine for one comma three, means like one to three occurrences means like this this number i mean any number between 0 to 9 each number like it can now it is one right it can be zero or it can be one or it can be two or it can be between any number between 0 to 9 okay and for the occurrences of three occurrence of three in the sense it can be one number one digit or it can be two digit or it can be three digit right so ip addresses will range from uh, i mean like uh, one digit to three digits. So that's the reason I'm giving one, two, three. Okay. I hope uh, you understood this regular expression. And at the end, we need to supply uh, our log file as input. So after that, uh, when you hit enter, so it will be, you'll be uh, extracting all the IP addresses from the given log file. So after that, we need to sort it. I'll just explain. I'll just explain this sort. So when I pass this output to the next command, 
because in my previous videos i have already discussed so pipe this will call it as pipe so why we'll use this is like the output of this command will be given to the next command so i just wanted to uh, uh, filter my output so that's the reason i am using pipe so what it does is like the output from this particular command will be passed on to the next command so the next thing is like now i've got the ip addresses so there are many duplicates in this like if you see there are many duplicates right so you, you, if you see these many ip addresses are same so i just wanted to list unique ip addresses and how many times it has been hit my uh, application right so to get unique ip addresses i need to use unique so you can see uh, all the duplicates has been removed now i have got only unique values so i've told you right why i've used uh, sort i'll explain it to you uh, later so why i've used sort is unix unique command will expect a uh, sorted input to get a proper output okay so unique command will expect the sorted input to achieve a proper output so that's the reason after uh, grep command i've used a sort and then i've given that that as an input to unique command so you can see now we have the only unique uh, ip addresses now we are done with one uh, a partial 50 percent of our scenario now next thing is like i need to know the number of times that has been uh, uh, hit my application right so there is an option called as iphone c iphone c in the sense count in unique so what it does unique will uh, give the unique values right so it, it also give a count so how many times it is there in the unit so to to get that we need to use a option iphone c so when you use that you can see uh, it gives the number of times occurrence in the log file and also the ip addresses okay and if you see the output which is not sorted right so which is basically not sorted which is in now uh, so let's say uh, uh in future i have a requirement so i i need an ip address in the top uh wherein like uh, my application has been accessed more from this particular ip so i want to identify that particular uh, ip address it should be on the top that is my requirement so then again we can use a sort command and um, we can achieve the same sort iphone in so iphone n in the sense numeric based on numerical values it will sort it okay so when you give this uh, you can see the output uh, so basically uh, one time uh, from this ip it has been uh, uh, accessed so let's say you want uh, the top one first then you need to use reverse so basically this is a reverse iphone or in the sense like this reverse so that time we'll get uh, IP from which IP uh, our application triggered uh, maximum times will get in the topper row. Okay, so this this is about our scenario. So our scenario was like how many times has been uh, uh, our application been accessed by a particular IP from for how many times. So this is about my scenario and uh, i have uploaded this log file uh, in my github basically so let me open i'll show the github so if you want to uh, execute this particular command you can go to my github and there i have uh, kept my log file scenario 4 and then there i have uh, placed my log file you can take this and the command is here you can just copy paste this command and then uh, it works fine so you'll get a uh, number of ip addresses and how many times it has been accessed our application also you'll get to know okay and this is about uh, scenario and uh, next comes our tips so as you can see i have used many options right uh, in grep uh, in grep and it can be in unique or it can be uh, in sort i've used many options right so if at all if you want to uh, use any other option i just wanted to know what are all the options uh, for for a particular given command so then how to get those options information so obviously you can 
to a Google search, you can get it. But in Unix itself, for every command, uh, there is a command by which we can get uh, the detailed information and detailed options that we have. That is basically a man command. And just give for which command you need a detailed uh, explanation. Let's say in this case, I'll just give grep. So when you do man grep, see, it gives detailed information. So what that uh, command does and what are all the options that as. And in our case, we have used hyphen E. You can see extended grep, regular expression it is. And uh, it gives a smaller, a brief about uh, the options. Okay. So you can just uh, uh, press enter. So you can scroll through uh, the page, basically a man page. So for few comments, only few uh, options will be there. But uh, for a command like grab, uh, many options will be there. Okay. To come uh, out of this page, uh, we need to uh, just press Q. So you'll be out of that particular page. And uh, this man works for all the Unix commands. Okay. So let's say I want options uh, in Unix. So then I can just type man Unix. So I will be able to see what is that, and what is the format of it, and what all the options are available for that. Okay. And the next uh, tip is uh, logged in users. So if someone says like, I need the list of logged in users for, uh, for let's say uh, currently I'm using this machine, right? If someone asks like, uh, who are all logged into this machine? So then how should we achieve it? So there is a command for that also. Uh, so which is basically who. So when you type this, so uh, for this particular machine, only one user uh, will now log in. So that is me. Uh, so that's why it is showing uh, only one. So if you go for any other Linux machine, so if uh, many people are logging to that particular machine, so when you type this who, then you will be getting the list of users. So if you want to get uh, currently logged in user, then it is who am I? So you'll you'll get a currently logged in user who is logged in to a current machine. Okay. So that's uh, that's all for this video. If you like it, please uh, share, subscribe, and yeah, that's all. Thank you so much. A good day.